My name is Angela Craig and I'm the Clinical Nurse Specialist for the Intensive Care Unit here at Cookville Regional Medical Center. I'm also the Sepsis Coordinator. There are many different symptoms if you develop sepsis, different symptoms that you might not recognize that it's sepsis. If you're more tired than usual, if you have a change in how maybe you're thinking, you're not thinking as clear as you normally would, you feel fevered, you just don't feel like something's right, or maybe have pain or a bad cough. There are so many different um, reasons why you could become septic that it's really important that you go to your primary care physician. Once you're at your provider's office or your doctor's office, they will determine if your blood pressure is too low or if your white blood cell count is too high or if you're gonna need some kind of extra attention to where you might need to go to the hospital. But many times when you notice this and you seek treatment early, you may may be able to totally bypass having to come to the hospital.